And W.O. is here. Time for a hostile takeover. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the N.W.O. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash! Three men who individually ruled over WWE before jumping ship to WCW. Now they are dominating the sports entertainment world together. But well, I tell you what, as long as their egos remain in check, the NWO will be unstoppable. They call Gunther the ring general, a moniker he earned for the impressive combat tactics he employs in his matches. Tactics which can be as devastating as they are genius. You can easily mistake Gunther for a big Austrian brute, but he's a very cerebral competitor. Before he even climbs through the ropes, he's already devised multiple avenues of attack. That has helped Gunther stay one step ahead of the competition. He's playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. Too bad for him, but he's got to deal with Big Kev. One of the best big men in the history of WWE. Nash has battled his way through a tremendous injury history and is still competing at an extremely high level. Kevin Nash is an all-around problem because he's not the kind of guy to let you make a name at his expense. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Oh, that hurt right in the kidney. Golly. And Corey had his one matchup to a superstar as powerful as Kevin Nash. Nash is a veteran of this industry, but he's had a few injuries in the past. 
Target his legs and his infamous quads. Take away his movement, which limits his offense, and force him to play defense. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Escapes in a nick of time. He'll take things into the ring. Tremendous German suplex. A defiant kick out after one. If that won't beat him, I'm not sure anything will. Chloe blows. Right to the leg. And Nash perhaps feeling the effects of his injury history. That shows you the ring general's genius in action. And Gunther is earned the upper hand here. Big sexy being forced into a defensive position here. On to the back of the neck. The knee is being torn apart now. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. in the head. Hip drop. I've been waiting to see that. Big sexy looking as cool as they come. Nash climbs. What's on his mind? Oh. On the top. Top and down. And this is good. This is where great cardio makes all the difference, helping you stay alive deep into the match. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. One. STO! Two. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. about to establish his dominance. level of fight still left in Gupton. As devastating as Nash's maneuver was, it still wasn't enough. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Boom, right across the small of the back. All the momentum swinging away from Gunther. Gunther is being subjugated to a beatdown. Him off. Yeah. Gunther could be turning his fortunes around. Chloe blows. This is not going to end well for Nash's opponent. Just an F. He thinks he has it.
not only invisible limbs, but he's got the highest rating possible. Maximum stats, minimum visibility. This is like the final boss in a video game, guys. Yeah, there's no cheat codes in this match, Corey. Just an unstoppable superstar. You can't see him, and you can't beat him either. Sit down, Byron. Please. I got a goosebump parade running up and down my body. The new day's here. A goosebump. And his opponent, representing the new day from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods. You eat your booty with like almond milk? Well, of course, I have a sensitive system. Well, Michael, say it with me. New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. All right, we'll just keep it a solo party. Get it, Biggie. It's always exciting to watch Xavier Woods in the ring, a superstar with a seemingly endless supply of creative energy. Yeah, whether it's dreaming up innovative new moves or wacky new gear, Woods is always thinking outside the box. The way he keeps refreshing his in-ring style can make him pretty tough to keep up with. And I bet Xavier can easily imagine himself picking up the win here tonight. I can't wait to see what he's cooked up for us in this one. And he'll be facing... No! care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. He catches Woods with a counter. Neck is trapped. What a suplex. Ooh, a sharp kick. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. And he gets set back into the ring. Uh-oh. That should do it right there! And he only stays down for a one count. There is no quit in this man tonight. Drop kick from behind. Ouch. Oh, look at this. Headbutt! And Corey, we can't see much of Cena here. But is there enough of an outline to fight against? I think there is. Follow the hat and just punch below it. It's a good chance to win his face. Absorbed some damage already. Yeah. Big punch finds its mark. And he wants nothing to do with any of that. He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. Bad predicament right here. Oh my goodness. Face first into the barricade. What now? Wicked 
kick to the lower back. Elbow drop. Pearson. Xavier Woods falling victim to an onrush now. Cena putting himself in the driver's seat. He's heading back to the ring. And set right into the corner. Gets him in position. This is not. Right, where's Cena going to go here? What's he going to do? I don't know. Oh, my God. Cena. No way. Second rope. I think we're gonna see it! Bloody cross! And he's hard to target, but Cena's on the defensive. Woods creating an opportunity to attack there. Oh, a neck breaker! Nice counter by Cena. Oh, a kick! He's going for the pin! This could be it! Oh, oh my God! What an incredible match we are witnessing. Still, this could be it. Oh, oh, package driver. Can that keep Cena down? Can we even tell if Cena's shoulder got up? Where the heck is his shoulder? And Woods has tried everything to get the fall, but his opponent is not going down quietly. Nasty right hand. That's a with an enziguri. Crashing to the floor. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Ooh, my goodness. Some collateral damage on the way here. Everyone needs to clear out. 
including us. Woods might be raking up. But Woods still has more to do to get this fully in his favor. should also add disruptive to the list, Corey. But we'll see how he measures up against Xavier Woods, a man who loves competition so much, he even spends all of his free time competing in video games. 
Coach is driven to be the best he can be in the ring and always seems to have fun doing it. Yeah, don't let Woods' joyous smile fool you. Woods loves the thrill of dishing out plenty of stiff strikes and punishing blows. Taking on an incredibly well-rounded competitor like Xavier Woods can be intimidating, but therein lies the key to victory. You need to play to your strengths. Take this fight to the mat or the ropes or wherever you feel you have the edge against Woods. I have to say, I like that approach, Corey. It could be the perfect solution for facing a jack-of-all-trades competitor like Xavier Woods. Oh, man. Picture perfect drop kick. Swinging neckbreaker connects. Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Don't come over here. Cole, quick, use Saxton as a human shield. He gets back into the ring. Cutting off the count in the nick of time. See that coming. Come on, jumping knee strike. Lights out. We're gonna see it. Go, he may get the three count right here. I think so. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Oh, jeez. The crowd is fully behind Xavier Woods right now. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Superstars put on quite a show. Here's another one. Here is your winner, Kevin Nash! No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. The internet was right. It's Super Cena. Oh, we are so lucky to be seeing him. Well, I do. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds. John Cena! Guys, is my monitor broken? I don't see anything. Only the worthy can see him, Saxton. Minimum stats, minimum visibility. This is like the final boss in a video game, guys. Yeah, there's no cheat codes in this match, Corey. Just an unstoppable superstar. You can't see him, and you can't beat him either. Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, 
Imperium clearly are not here to have fun, but you have to respect their mission statement of the mat being sacred. Oh, I do, but I've seen your matches, Saxton, and you do not respect their mission statement. Have you seen my matches? I definitely consider the mat sacred. Oh, my gosh. He's undefeated. away from seeing Imperium's mission statement in action. And that's unfortunate for anyone else in the ring. The ring general Gunther ready to wage war in the ring here. Cole, there are so many metaphors to describe Gunther's abilities in the ring, and you went with the most obvious one. That's what I get for expecting anything more than average from you. That's why Gunther and I are very similar, Cole. We expect everyone to operate on our high level, and anything less is an insult. Oh, boy. This is going to be a long night. But is he... That's got to be it. He gets the kick out after the one. Not quite enough to put... Watch out! Suicide dive! Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. Cross landing powerbomb. Gunther just can't seem to stop this offense. Cena showing that trademark ruthless aggression. Three. Cena has the moniker Big Match John for good reason. I think Cena's going to pull out all the stops to win this match. That Big Match mentality also means higher risk and a higher chance of crashing and burning. A smart man looks at that and sees that the key to this matchup is to play it safe and wait for Cena to make some mistakes. Oh, on the spot. Drops a knee. Oh. Able to evade. Big clothesline. He's getting a little battered now. He has a task at hand but prefers to be showboating right now. Yeah. Face. Drop kick. Drop in the knee. Boom. Delivers the knee. Look at this. On a backbreaker. Right to the spine. showcasing his arsenal. And look at that. He's clearly playing it safe and capitalizing on Cena's mistakes. Great strategy against Big Match John.
deconstructing the knee there. This one has to end in the ring. close to being collateral damage in this one. Oh my God! Good first into the barricade! And Cena's starting to falter here. Cena needs to find some energy fast. Hurricane! Into the ring again. Cena hoists him up. He is not done yet. Attitude adjustment. Is that going to decide it for Cena?
The following contest is a ladder match. Making his way to the ring, representing the NWO from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 328 pounds, Kevin Nash. As calculated and controversial as they come, Nash has next level power and also next level tricks up his sleeve. Kevin Nash quite simply knows how to win. Brute force personified. Nash looking to obliterate all competitors. This is a brawler who learned his craft on the streets of Detroit. And he is so big. All power. This will not be pretty. The internet was right. It's Super Cena. Oh, we are so lucky to be seeing him. Well, I do. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! I didn't think Cena could be any more of a difficult opponent, but look at this. Not only invisible limbs, but he's got the highest rating possible. the kind of kid who thought about what ratings to give his creator wrestling. I'm like Cena here. Just move every stat to 100. Yeah, but the difference here is that Cena has earned it. He's evolved from an all-time great to practically invincible. We've seen John Cena play a superhero in Hollywood, but now he's won in reality. And with the bell, we're about to see what these superstars have planned for each other in this ladder match. We've seen how innovative these athletes can be when it comes to inflicting pain on each other. In a ladder match, it only gets amplified. He climbs into the rank. He's looking to align that ladder up perfectly. Placement is crucial. Stunner. Locks in the gut wrench. in this situation. Great Graves, we've witnessed such heart-stopping aerial assaults in the ladder. Do you think that could play a factor in this match tonight? There's no actual way to predict what we will see tonight, but there are heavy prices to pay for gambling in the high red district and losing. It is a huge leap of faith to take, so you need to be prepared for the consequences. Cena got caught with the reversal. Big, big, big body drop. What elevation. We're going to see it. Good wrench power bomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with a three. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Oh, man. Kevin Ash is rubbing 
moonsault in his opponent's wounds now. Got it scouted. Punch him in the chest. Driven into the barricade. Returning fire. Big four. Ooh. Ooh. Knee left. This match grinded him down a little. Tossing them aside. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Oh, the reversal by Cena. And he slides him back to the mat. Cena with a rough blow there. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. John Cena has got him in position. The STF is cinched in. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's around him. Whoa, wait a second. What a counter. He gets sent down to the floor. He'll head to the ring. Going to the top here, guys. Looking to finish it. Got a hold of it. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. Going for it all. Interesting timing, to say the least. successful teams in WWE, The New Day. Enough with these guys already. It's The New Day. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing The New Day. From Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods. Three very successful competitors, but even better as a group. Kofi Kingston, a world champion. Big E won Money in the Bank and the WWE title. And let's not forget King Woods. And Corey, all of that success is a testament to the power of positivity. <laughs>
Say hello to Imperium. Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser, and the ring channel, Guter. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunther! Gunther, Vinci, Kaiser. Yeah. They have taken all of WWE by storm. Yeah, Gunther, the longest reigning NXT UK champion ever, has also held the Intercontinental title. Vinci and Kaiser, multiple time NXT Tag Team Champions. And guys, we're only seeing the beginning of their dominance. It's always exciting to watch Xavier Woods in the ring. A superstar with a seemingly endless supply of creative energy. Yeah, whether it's dreaming up innovative new moves or wacky new gear, Woods is always thinking outside the box. The way he keeps refreshing his in-ring style can make him pretty tough to keep up with. And I bet Xavier can easily imagine himself picking up the here tonight. I can't wait to see what he's cooked up for us in this one. And then there's Gunther, a proud competitor with a simple objective. He's out to restore honor and glory to the ring. He's trying to clean up the riffraff around here and return some dignity to this industry. Oh, is that what you call it? Because it seems to me like he just looks down on everyone else. No one is good enough in Gunther's eyes not to take him on or even stand shoulder to shoulder with him. You say proud, I think he's conceded. With Gunther's militant stature and no-nonsense ring style, how could anyone usurp the ring general, Corey? You certainly don't want to go blow for blow against Gunther. That will lead to your pectoral muscles being turned into ground beef. Treat Gunther like any other perfectionist. Throw a wrench into their plans. If you can upset the general's rhythm and plan in the ring, his frustration will only grow. Oh, an arm breaker. The fire has been lit inside of Gunther. This... Gunther wants to finish this. Oh, Gunther kicked his victory Cover. now. Two. He kicked out of two. There was one question running through Wood's mind there. Do you want to continue? And that kick out was an emphatic yes, yes, I do. It is just unbelievable. And Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know what his game plan is now. Been able to beat Woods to the punch. Woods finds an opening. Uh-oh. Hard -oh. side kick. Down by the DDT. Xavier Woods turning to some mind games here. It could be over here! This is it! He breaks the ref's count before two. Surprised to not even get a two count at this point. Gunther's face is starting to look mangled after that. All the momentum swinging away from Gunther. It took a bit of doing, but there's the wrench in Gunther's plan. That has led to frustration Ooh. from the ring jet. What an inventive attack by Xavier Woods. Woods always finding new ways to surprise us. And there's the cover. No kick out at two. How in the world did he kick out? Oh, what a knee. He drops the hammer right on the lower back.
Vicious right forearm. Woods launching attacks left and right. Woods is all fired up. Face first with a waistlock takedown. So hopefully, this will be a short trip outside. Ah, oh, jumping knee strike. Lights out. One night stand. No thanks. Lifting their opponent back to their feet in a thunderous right hand. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. And now thrown back into the ring. Celebrating right now. 